let's just sew whatever. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing pattern chat episode 13 I believe. I should have checked before I started. Anyway, let's get into the patterns. Um, so if you're not familiar with pattern chat, um, I go over new pattern releases. Some of these are like five weeks old now, so they're not brand new, but if you aren't on Facebook and you aren't able to see all of the posts when a new pattern is released, this video might be helpful for you um, to discover new designers, etc. Uh, the way we find the patterns is I have a very small group with a few friends who help me with the links. Um, so if I missed your pattern, it's just because I didn't see it. Um, so I apologize. There's no reason anyone is ever excluded. Um, but if you release a new pattern and you want to make sure that you, we have it in the next pattern chat, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or send me an email and I'll make sure that your link gets in for the next one. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the Milo Bat Bag pattern. This one is from Katsiopia. Um, she has excellent tutorials done by Brandy Jackson as well. So if you're worried if there's a video or not, there is. This is such a cute little bag. Um, I really wanted to make one of these and like kind of upsize it and turn it into a backpack. Um, but it is a crossbody bag. It is domestic friendly and the little bat flaps like magnetic snap together. So, so fun. I've never seen a bag like this. So I, I love it. Oh, that's some fun hardware on there too. Um, the next one we have is the Betsy Bowler bag. This is from Sew Yours Patterns. I did a video on this one and Brandy did as well. There's tons of videos for it. It's such a cute little bag. Highly recommend this pattern. Um, it is a fairly small bowler, like it's a smaller bag, um, but super cute. The next one is the Sakura, <sighs> Secure. Sakura. I know how to say it. Secura. Secura coin pouch. This one is from Sewing Seeds of Love Studio. Um, this is such a fun little shape. It looks like there's just one size, but you could always upsize a pattern. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see the size. Um, but there is a reverse applique on the front, and it is just absolutely adorable. So it's got like a fun zipper install method, the way it goes around the edge like that. Um, so that is really handy. Maybe there isn't a reverse applique for this one. Either way, if you're looking for a great skill building pattern or just something quick for shows, this one would be perfect. Uh, the next one is from Bags by Bags of Style, and it is the Pronto Wallet Collection. So it's a bunch of different ones, and they look like um, little raw edged scrap busters in a way um, for business cards, or there's like a foldable one. Um, you could use your edge coat with it scrolls through. So there's the foldable one with like zigzaggy. Just imagine all the scraps you could use up with one of these. So this looks like a really fun collection. Uh, the next one is from Sally Tomato. This is the Watch Party. Super cool. Um, she also has kits available on her website so you can get the pattern and the kit um, to make yourself a new watch band which is super fun. I love how many different options there are as well. So if you like a certain style, you can make that particular style. Uh, the next one is from Needle and Anchor Supply Co. This is the Marmoris handbag. It is a simple and chic bag that comes in two sizes and has magnetic snaps to open the bag wide to find what you need. The inside features a zippered pocket and a large divided slip pocket. So the very front, has this really fun accent here. It uses circle ring hardware. This pattern is for the ambitious beginner. So that's awesome. This pattern is domestic friendly and just make sure that you choose your materials appropriately. 
And there are three different options that you could make this bag, so that's really fun. So option one, you could use a flip lock, you could add just that nice shoulder handle there, or add crossbody connectors to the, sh the top of the shoulder. It's a really fun, classy shape. Uh, looks like option two, you can add two handles. That's fun. And then option three is just the one handle on the back versus the flap. So I love that there's so many different options. It looks like this person made it into, oh, let me move myself, um, into a backpack as well. So that's a super cute little mini backpack. I love that. The next one is the Serendipity Wallet. This is a debut release from Maple and Sunshine. And um, if you watched one of my mail opening videos, I ordered one of these from Nikki Makes. <laughs> and it's amazing. Honestly, it's Dorothy's wallet. She loves playing with it. But um, yeah, I, I think I purchased this pattern. I can't recall, but it looks fairly easy, but also very thoughtful. Like I love the zippered pocket for change that you can f flip to one side or the other. Um, I think it's really smart that the strap connector is riveted on here. Um, so you can see right there that isn't sewn into any side seam. So that makes it very domestic friendly. You just rivet that into place. So I think that is really awesome. And there might be the option of sewing it in the seam. Oh my god, how fun. Um, but I honestly think riveting it on is the smartest. And then if you have um, some of those um, like embroidery machine snap tabs, you can use any of those, etc. So well done. Such a fun pattern. Uh, this next one is from K Azacona Designs. This is the Over the Rainbow coin purse. And this is so cute. The little cloud snaps closed. I love it so much. Um, I do have one of her patterns she sent to me and the directions are very, very excellently done. So I highly recommend these patterns. If you're looking for something fun and like a little scrap buster or something to just reinvigorate you into sewing. Uh, this next one is from Mahu... Mahou Satsumi Sosation, and this is the Ari Crossbody. Get out of here. Oh, let me just completely block it. It's so cute. Um, so right here it has that little Ida bag window. It's got little ears. I absolutely love the shape of this. You could, of course, leave off the Ida bag size, but I think it's really handy. A lot of people like the idea of the Eda bag, which is where you can store your pins in a safe place. And if they fall off, they're contained. They're not gone forever. And as someone who designs pins, that's important. They take a lot of work. <laughs> so this looks like a really good size too. Oh, that's so fun. I love that jelly strap. So you can see here, you can add your pins there. It's actually a really nice size. The first image makes it look kind of small. Um, it's eight and a half by seven by three and a half inches deep. But yeah, this is such a cute little pattern. I was going to say, I feel like you could add Mickey Mouse ears and somebody did it. How cute. So this next one is from KMG Handmade and this is the Brie Mini Messenger Bag. This one is insanely cute. I always love seeing the patterns that she comes up with. Um... But it's got that front pocket that is a zippered closure. And honestly, you could make that out of clear vinyl and make it an Eda bag as well. Um, it looks like it unzips to be expandable, which is incredible. Those always seem really complicated to do, but they're actually not. So it's something that's like, mm, maybe that's intimidating, but just try it. It's not. Uh, this next one is from Sophisticated Craft Designs. This is the On The Go Pouch. Um, Kasaya, I believe, has a video tutorial for one of these, and it is so cute. Looks like there's three different sizes, and you can use these for anything. You can turn it into a lunchbox, you could turn it into a, a travel case, etc. There's all these different pockets for notions to make it a crafting essential. 
but there's so many options and who could say no to that face so cute I love them and um, they have tons of other patterns as well so next up we have Chris W designs she has released the bangle dangle and this is a super cute um, could be a wristlet could be a crossbody pattern and it has a flip lock in the front which could probably also be a um, magnetic closure if you wanted and we have a coupon code so whatever which gets you 15% off your order of any patterns and um, they also have bag supplies next up we have the Gemini wallet from crafted by Leanne I feel like I've seen a bunch of these pop up but I love how like the other patterns that she carries, everything is kind of uniform and has a similar voice to it. So this one has a bunch of different options for the flap so that it can coordinate with the other bag styles that she carries. And it's also just a simple accordion wallet, which I think is super cool. It's not quite as big as like the NCW, um, but it's not as small as some other ones. Uh, so it looks like there's six card slots, a little open spot, and then a zippered pocket in the front. Uh, this next one is from Mrs. H Sewing Patterns. This is the classic handbag. This looks like it has a really nice front, you can't see that, um, little swooshy shape. Nice purse feet along the bottom. I love that front slip pocket with that piping. Very nice classic shape i love that it's kind of like a gusseted top so it's a nice secure closure it's really cool i love it well done Ooh. just looks so yummy <laughs> this next one is the from lynn's handmade this is the fab sling so she has the slim sling which is meant for raw edged fabrics and this is the fab sling which is meant for woven fabrics um so they're not raw edges so keep that in mind um i saw that she mentioned this is kind of like a hack but isn't at all so they're the same pattern in spirit but they're just made very differently so keep that in mind Uh, this next one is from Clutch Couture Designs. This is the Fiona bag. And it is delicious. This is like... It's so clean and simple looking. I love the lines of this bag. Um, and I actually saw a Facebook ad for something that looks similar to this in like that classic long tote shape, but it was a backpack. So... This could be something that's easily changed into a backpack as well, but this looks really fun. I love that you can see it's perfect for all kinds of fabrics. You could do all vinyl or you could do um, a fun accent panel like this one here. Uh, the next one is from Sewn Ideas, and this is the mini bag. This one is super cute. It's got a big wide opening, as you can see there. I love that you can add your crossbody strap on the top of it, or it can be just a little grab and go bag. Whenever I go to Target, I always like to look at what kind of bags are very popular right now. And there's definitely a lot of mini bags. So this one is super cute. Next is from Pink Pony Designs, and this is the Sendai wallet. This is another little cute wallet. Um, it's just got the front closure there. Oh, there we go. And you can see it's a, an accordion. Looks like it's raw edges, which is super cute. Um, so again, this looks like a really fun little scrap buster. Something easy to make and something like easy to batch sew as well. So you can see there. <clears throat> this next one is from Dig the Bag. This is the Michelle bag. This is... Again, gosh, there's so many good patterns, you guys. There's no time to make them all. 
Um, I love this pattern. This is a six by nine by two pattern, so it's super small. You can wear it as a backpack, crossbody, sling bag. I love that connector. Nicole always comes up with such fun and unique things. Oh, Hamilton, so good. So definitely check out the Michelle bag. Uh, this one is from Madness Creations by Heather Marie, and this is the Pick a Panel book cover. It's a versatile and unique creation. This is way more than a book cover. We have you covered whether you are sketching, journaling, designing, or need a place for your day planner. The Pick a Panel keeps everything you need with you at your fingertips, fully customizable to fit all of your needs. After making one, you will want to make so many more. Uh, included is two closure options, six panels, and if that was not enough, I have added a bonus tutorial on how to make a dry shaker that you can add to your feature cover. Well, that's fun. So, like, you can add glitter into it. I was like, what is a dry shaker? Got there. So, there's the two different closure options there. You can add pens, notebook, etc. So, this is very cool. I've seen so many different patterns for notebook covers lately, and it's some of those, it's one of those things like you wouldn't think of, but people really love organizing and planning and having everything they need. So there you can see the dry shaker. So cool. The next one is from the Styled Magnolia. This is the Magnolia wallet. It is a zip around wallet that includes a mini wallet so it's like a larger wallet or you can take the small one out to take with you where you need to go it has that little zippered compartment super classy lots of card slots oh there's the mini wallet that you can take out very cool and there it is inside the wallet, or you could slip it out and just take that, which I think is super cool. It's literally two wallets in one. Or you can put one wallet in the one wallet, and then it's just one wallet. Anyway, um, this is from Shambhala Designs. It looks like it is the beta pack for their newest club. Um, I'm not sure which ones are included within this. Um... But I think this is one of them so far, the Azucena, Azucena, Azucena bag. This is really cool. I love the panels on the front, those connectors and the piping. The piping is just so delicious. So good. So I'll make sure to add a link for that one down below. Uh, this one is the Making Waves crossbody and wristlet pattern. And this one is from Elaine Honey. So it's got that front swoopy pocket, which you can embellish, and then a matching wristlet with card slots. It is a classic crossbody bag with many pockets and secret compartments. This bag can be made using all types of fabric and gives you the opportunity to showcase a contrast for fabric for the front wave slip pocket. This is new from a quaint stitch. This is the Wayfair 2.0 um, that's sold as a bundle or separately. So if you don't have the old version, you can get it. But it looks like the new version has an extra compartment in the front. I have not made this bag yet. Um, it's not something that I think my customer base would want. So that's one of the reasons I've never made it. But holy crap, this bag is cool. Um, I know there is a tutorial from So Stitch and Cold, Rosie, so I'll try to link that down below. If not, I'm sure it's on this website, um, but what an incredible pattern. I love how you can wear it as a sling or unzip it, and then it's a, a full-on backpack, so just really ingenious designs. Um, and then there's all different other kinds of patterns on her website as well. Another notebook cover, this one is the Jot It Down from K. Dill Patterns. What a great fabric. Oh my gosh, I love it. Where did you get it? Um, 
So beginner and domestic machine friendly, the Jot It Down doubles as a composition notebook or an iPad cover tablet case. Multiple cover options and sizes available. Genius. I love that. So you can have it as a zip around or you can add just the elastic, etc. Photos and video included. Um, so if you're looking for something more simple, this might be an option or you can pick a panel. Um, next is the City Clutch from Purses by Holly. This one is so cute. So it's got that little grab handle there or you can wear it as a wristlet strap. A little front pocket. What a cute zipper pull. A nice wide gusset and then an interior divider. So this is really cute. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any reviews for this one. Not that I can see. But the City Clutch pattern is a fun little bag that is very versatile. Dress it up or down. There are many ways to personalize it and make it your own. Uh, ranges from a beginner to an intermediate level pattern depending on what features you decide to put in it. So I think that's really awesome because you can grow your skills with this pattern. You can start off really simple or you can go crazy. Next one is from Oro Rosa Patterns. This is the Trotty Triangle Shoulder Bag. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Um, so this one is super cool. All of the testers I saw that made it said it was really fun um, and very unique. And while you're sewing it, it looks like a stingray, which, I mean, who doesn't want to make it just for that reason? But the, the inside of it, you can see there is a big open section. And then when you kind of fold it in on itself, that goes away. And then I believe there is like a front pocket as well or maybe it's all just into the same compartment I feel like it's separate compartments I didn't get a chance to like really look at the pattern I think it's separate it would make sense that it was separate compartments I could probably read that in the intro like in in the description but there's also an inner zippered pocket etc so I think that's really cool um, it is an adventurous intermediate. It's not a hard so The instructions do require close following. Um, yes, on the front exterior, you find a very large zipper pocket. On the inside, a generous main compartment along with a slip pocket and a zipper pocket. Oh, look, how to pronounce it. Did I mess it up? Trouty. Trouty. I love it. <laughs> okay. And then the last one we have here is from the Folk Art Factory. Um, I saw Debbie post this and so whatever and I was like, yep, we're going to share that one. It is easy to sew pouches with a clear view window. Um, so she said she has lots of scraps um, and she wanted to use them up. So there's like a little metal frame in there, as you can see, flex frame. And then you just can put whatever you need to in there. That's super cute. So you can see the sizes there and you don't need much, just a little bit of bias tape and there's all the instructions. Um, so that is it for this episode. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this fun chance to look at all the cool stuff people are making. Um, if you are a pattern designer, Thank you for your time and effort. I know it is not easy as I have tried to do it and did okay, but they are very draining to create. So shout out to all the pattern designers. If I did not include yours and it was released, please email me and I'll make sure to include it in the next one. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.